Well, hi, everyone. I have with me again today one of our frequent, one of my frequent guests, uh, Gabrielle Rutan, MD. Uh, she's uh, here from from Europe, and she's going to add uh, she's going to add her her thoughts to a, a rather interesting topic. I've got an email here here from, and I'm I'm, I'm entitling this: "Can the unseen therapist?" change the unfairness of the world and, and it, 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 it it's a fairly long i'm not going to read the whole thing i'm going to summarize it for you but in the meantime gabrielle if you would if you would say hello to everybody please hello everybody okay let me summarize this first and then i'd love to have your comments on it gabrielle you know, the world in one sense is unfair. She's, she's talking here about how it's, the world is unfair to her. Uh, you know, things about, you know, her parents, you know, tended to favor her brother and he got toys when she didn't and things like this. And she got passed over for a job and that was unfair and this is unfair and that's unfair. And the world, and the world is unfair. And she'd like to know if the unseen therapist can change the unfairness of the world. Well, I don't know if the world is unfair. I don't know anybody. Uh, maybe you do, Gabrielle. Do you know anybody who escapes the unfairness of the world? Um, no, I don't. No, I don't. However, it's an interesting question because we can't really escape the unfairness of the world, or maybe better stated, our perception of how the world seems to be so unfair. But we can change our response to it, meaning we can get over the top about it. We can get blood pressure issues over it. We can get anger issues over it. We can, you know, have all, all of which is expensive to us in the long run, not only physically and medically, but emotionally as well. Give me your thoughts on that, Gabriel. Yes, I think, uh, yes, the world is, seems unfair and stuff happens. And um, some people like to say, you know, the world is ego's playground or maybe even battleground. The ego, the ego's playground. I love that. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, it is. And so um, what we need to realize is that we can only work on our reactions to whatever happens to us and if you are still you know if you're you're still holding on to resentment resentments about stuff that happened in your past that still plays a role today in your interactions with people today so it's absolutely worth your while to at least use eft to uh, really clean house on all your all these, these negative unfair you know, events that happened to you, because otherwise, and this is just the simple way our long term memory works. If you don't address them, and I don't know anything that is more successful than EFT, they will play a role in how you interact with people now and how you react to situations and unfair situations in the now. So I think it's very important to use EFT to, to really clean house on every unfair thing that happened to you. It's, you know, obviously you can work on, on personal stuff in, in relation to the people around you. You can't work on the unfairness of whatever's happening out there and on, on a big scale. However, I would like to point out that if everybody would do that, if everybody would, you know, uh, work on their own issues, their own reactions to unfair situations and we would all do that we are with many if we would all do that that would definitely change you know have an effect let me just be modest here have an effect on the unfairness of the world because if we keep reacting from our past experiences we also contribute to the unfairness of the world because we'll be more angry or more disappointed or more frustrated or whatever else to whatever yeah. happens then is then it's necessary yeah to get down to you know some really some kind of practical things we all 
here's a word full of seemingly separated people. We're really come from a oneness, and that's what, what's in my book and everything else. And by the way, links to that or, to that free book are, are below this uh, in the essential links. But um, we we had, we all come into this world with our own belief, the fact that we're separated from everybody else and not part of a grand oneness. As a result, we have our own desires. We have our own needs. We have our own belief filters. We have all the things that we need to have to get through this, navigate through this world. And so does everybody else. And they're all different, different cultures, different beliefs, different inputs, different all kinds of things. Okay. So they're bound to collide. There's bound to be unfairness. You cannot escape it. Okay. <laughs> But you don't have to get all worked up about it and tied up about it because that's going to cost you big time. It's going to create negative chemistry in your body and all kinds of things that develop into lots of stuff. So there's a way out of that. And we like to use the unseen therapist because there's nothing but peace there with the unseen therapist. And once we learn how to use her properly we can take specific events in our life oh the time when my parents gave my brother a bicycle but not me and i'm still angry about that because that is unfair and that happened at age five by the way and here we are at age 55 still worked up about it okay that's expensive so we can go back to that specific event with proper training, bring an unseen therapist peace about it. Okay. So what happened It's one of those many, many things, unfair things that happens, but I'm free of it. Now I'm free. And with that, we have peace and the world will continue to be unfair. That is when we have to condone and support all these other behaviors, but we don't have to get all worked up about them either. And that's the point. Property doing these specific events and the emotional tug that they bring us unties the knot, so to speak, and yes. makes us free. Other thoughts, Gabrielle? Well, no, it, I mean, um, I agree entirely, obviously, that you need to clean house on whatever happened in the past. And the lady mentioned something about a brother and, and stuff like that. I would like to add that it's worth your while to also work with the unseen therapist on daily stuff because this may be, you know, uh, a lot of unfair business going on right now. And if you allow yourself to disentangle yourself and not carry, you know, carry this stuff around because it builds up. This is how our long term memory uh, works. So. Pay attention to daily stuff as well, as, and obviously the the early childhood stuff and everything in between. And that is really worth your while because if we all, I just said it, I want to like to repeat it. If we would all do that, okay. really work on this, that makes yeah, that, a difference. Yeah, that reminds me, as an example to that, suppose somebody's now in later years in their life and they're working for some firm and... Um, the boss promotes somebody instead of you <laughs> and you think that's unfair. All okay? right. So, and maybe it is, maybe it is actually unfair. The other person did not deserve it. You did. And so on. And so you get worked up. That's a, that's something that's happening in a daily thing in your life right now. Okay. One of the things we need to recognize, and this comes with good training is that, you're getting worked up about it now, even though getting past the word for a promotion is, you know, has its own set of angst about that. It may well be bouncing off of some rejection you had clear back when, when, when your, your parents gave this bicycle to your brother instead of you. Okay. You're still not over that. So this getting passed over a promotion because you didn't get over that one makes this one even worse. It bounces off the past, you know, so, so we need a clean house. We need to be as thorough as we can, but once we're thorough about it, we get, freedom from that i mean think for a moment of all the unfairness i'm talking to the audience now the listeners 
of all the unfairness in your life, and you could probably spend the rest of the day, if not the rest of the week, listing all the unfair things <laughs> that happen in your life. I know I could. Okay. You'll sit there and list all those things, but until you until you resolve those, until you take your response to those and uh, fade them off, you're going to be in a prison, a prison of your own making because you keep replaying all this stuff and you keep replaying all the anger and it builds and it builds and it builds and eventually shows up in oftentimes diseases and physical ailments you don't want and so on. So anyway, I wanted to make that point. Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, well, I just want to add that for two reasons, it's not a very smart thing to do, if I may, you know, be allowed to say that. Because first of all, you... Um, being you know very angry or frustrated or whatever the emotional reaction is to for example you not getting this promotion it's not going to solve the, the situation if you are really angry about it and secondly you're paying the price because that stress reaction is happening in your body yeah so you have you have a stress and chronic stress if you get worked up about stuff on a regular basis chronic stress stress um, is the cause of many uh, symptoms and uh, diseases. So that's yeah. two good reasons not to do that. It sets off. Now I, you're the doctor here, not me, but it's my, my understanding. It sets off a, a literal cascade of negative chemistry, you know, in the body. Adrenaline goes out of balance. Cortisol goes out of balance. Hundreds of um, chemical reactions in the body, repair mechanisms go out of, get compromised and so on. And that's just asking for a disease. Did I say it right? Yes, you did. Okay, so we have it is an unfair world, okay, but we can deal with your response to it and bring peace instead of all this pugilism or turmoil going on. So, okay, that's it, Gabriel. I think so, yeah. All right, okay, hope you guys and your listeners enjoyed that. We'll uh, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.